I can tell you certainly an emotional ceremony, an emotional scene here. We're on the West End here at the Police Memorial right now. You can see motorcycles, community members, police officers, so many here just collectively standing here to celebrate the lives of officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. One coming straight to mind right now, last year, Officer Sonny Kim, who lost his life. He went to Wetzel Avenue. He was the first officer on the scene at that point last summer. He shows up to the calls of a man erratic with a gun. He ends up being shot. That man killing Officer Sonny Kim. The man, Trey Pierre Hummins, was killed by an officer there on the scene who fired shots back. Now, the, today, the police memorial here, collectively, the group coming here to celebrate his life, to celebrate the lives of others. Today, they are going to be presenting flowers. The bugler will be sounding taps. There will be a flyover in the missing man formation and a 21-gun salute. This today is not just about emotion, but also learning from the past and coming together to celebrate the future. Humbly, we are here today to honor the memory, dedication, and commitment of our fallen brother Sonny Kim and the many other heroes who have made the ultimate sacrifice as well. I'd like to recognize Ms. Jessica Kim and the Kim family for being here today and we pay homage to a true American hero, a father, a husband, a brother, a son, and a brother of ours for his extraordinary act of bravery. Now, uh, Sonny Kim's wife, Jessica Kim, will actually be receiving the posthumous award of valor on behalf of Officer Sonny Kim today. Certainly an emotional scene. We saw Jessica Kim standing there with Sonny Kim and, and her sons. They were standing there in the pouring rain. In fact, Mayor John Cranley made a comment about that today, saying the rain really reflects the tears of the community, the sadness of the community here in the loss of Officer Sonny Kim, who was just out doing what he loved, a veteran of the Cincinnati Police Department. Of course, we'll have more on this as we move throughout the day. But for now, we're live on the West End. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.